Is that character for real? Well, at 500 pounds for a coat like this, who's complaining? Oh, come off it, Dee. The bloke's a con artist. Who needs him? Greg, he's the best chance I have to find my darling Gary. And to do that, I'm willing to spend quite a bit. Of course he don't mind, do you, Terry? There is one little problem, like where am I going to rest my weary? Well, you can kip round at your grand's. You're never at home anyway, are you? Thanks a lot, pal. I didn't think I... I mean, I don't want to impose. I can hardly expect Terry to clear out of his flat just so I can... Nonsense, my dear. Why pay lunatic hotel prices? No, no, a nice little pied de terre. Or should I say pied de terry? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not a few bus stops from the throbbing heart of the metropolis. At 80 quid a week, it's a gift. Stand on me. The whole ground floor. That's the lot. Oh. Well, you know, it's kind of a shame it's not big enough for both of us. <clears throat> well, actually, I was thinking about that. It is really, isn't it? I mean, it's only got one bedroom, but it's well, a big if, old sofa. If you're you know. sure, I mean, you don't mind. No, I don't, no, I don't mind, you know, if you don't mind. No. Are we, uh, are we anywhere near Park Royal? Park Royal? Yeah, that's where my brother lives. Of course, the boy's a bachelor, so tidiness is not exactly his strong point, as you can see. Here, here. But I can vouch for the fact that he is personally clean in himself. Personally clean? Will you just... Oh, this is the uh, master bedroom. All right. Hardly elegant, but uh, cosy, cosy. I really appreciate this, Arthur. Least I can do, my dear. We British still have a duty to protect and assist our colonial cousins from around the globe. Yeah, let me show you the Kazi. Over the uh, bathroom. Right. That man could do with a trip to the cleaners, Terry. So one day, that's Change all Change those sheets. Right, well, I'll drop Greg off at his brother's and Terry will start making inquiries as to Gary's whereabouts while you get settled down in the flat, my dear. Oh, I thought, if it's OK, perhaps I could go along with Terry. Oh, why not? Why not? Mm. No harm in having someone minding you. Perhaps you could show Dee one or two of our historic landmarks, Terry. Show her where her ancestors hailed from. Clink prison's closed, isn't it? No, I'm sorry, love, no, it's a little joke. Maybe it's not. Oh, Arthur, do you know where I can hire a car? Anything will do. I just, you know, can't be completely dependent on you and Terry. H hire a car? Yeah. Um, well, as a matter of fact... Don't you point that finger, forget uh, no, that. Have I said anything? No, have no, I, no, I, I said anything. I'm about to say to what, what, what? if she is anticipating staying for an indefinite period, yeah. it will be far cheaper to buy a nice, reliable little runabout. Oh. It just so happens I know where I can obtain the sort of vehicle she would appreciate. Well, I bet you do. Oh, I thought you knew. I mean, that is, I, I, I thought that Arthur would have told you. No, no, I didn't, no. Poor old Gary. He was never happy there. I don't know, my parents hated him for some reason. Then one day we had this really terrible fight and the next thing I knew he'd sold his business and come back to England. I said if I really wanted him, I'd come and find him. So here I am. Here you are. It's been really great today, Terry. You know, showing me the sights and everything. Oh. I really appreciate it. 